Hello Aries and welcome to Expression Personnel Tarot. For Aries, Archangel Michael, please help guide this message for Aries. Mm. We have the moon. Aries, right now, this might be a time of uncertainty. Maybe you are unsure if things are going to work out. Possibly you found out that you need to move. Right now, I see that if you're dealing possibly with a cancer, maybe you are in stagnation right now. Maybe you have taken a time to yourself. With the Four of Swords, it feels as if you really have been just taking time to heal yourself. Okay. We could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Responsibilities, attachments, addictions. So I see for an Aries, there is for a major collective, drugs and addiction has really kept you bound in the past, Aries. And I see after a crisis of faith, a time where of uncertainty, a time where you, you felt split apart, swimming in opposite directions, running with the wrong crowds. We have the Four of Swords here. This is you, Aries, really tending to yourself, taking care of yourself doing what is best for yourself. Really putting yourself first. This is a lifestyle change. You see this little guy on a string down here? This was you, Aries. This was you. Bound. Now the devil has to leave you alone. Spirit is saying it is time with the moon card here to free yourself from this addiction, from your addictions, Aries. It's just left you too long in pain by yourself. With the devil here, let this energy, this nasty person, look at this guy. Look at this energy, the control here. Now, Four of Swords here, this is the intellect here. This has bound you. You see that Ten of Swords? It is time, intellect, you really need to let all these restraints go. Aries, what has been holding you back? It, it, it's, it's time to, it, it is, time to release that do not be held back anymore by this kind of energy okay there's rehab like Amy 
Amy Winehouse, they try to make me go to rehab. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> so I completely see there is a reason that I say that you do need rehab. There is a reason that you need to free yourself from the toxicity. It is so overwhelming here. This is overwhelming in the present situation because you know that you are freer than this Aries. You have to be independent spirited. You have to be able to really embrace who you are on the inside. You are a beautiful, you have you have to not just love someone else. You have to love yourself. You have to be a whole person with the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. I, I'm, I'm seeing that there is an ending regarding a partnership and it just is inevitable. This Two of Cups could have been a karmic partner. Y'all signed off on a contract pretty much to teach you very harsh life lessons. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. But Aries, if you are suffering in an addiction and a partnership that you are in it, it's it's really here to destroy you overall you have got to change yourself first before you can change others around you also um in the past here there was a relationship for you aries that for other aries here Not only did things get left in stagnation regarding a partnership, but there were so many responsibilities around you that it nearly put this relationship to an end, at least caused a lot of suspicion for you, Aries, regarding this partnership. Gemini energy, cancer energy. Aries, why are you secluding yourself? With the devil here, the things that restrict you, they need to come to an end with that Ten of Swords. With the Two of Cups, that Gemini energy, beautiful time for partnerships here in the future. So you really need to ask Spirit, what do you want out of your uh, out of a relationship exactly what kind of love do you want there's many different kinds of love i have told so many people that so many of my friends really good friends like who have had you know problems you know in relationships and i told them well, what kind of love are you what kind of love are you first what kind of person are you what kind of person do you want to reflect your best self? And that will be a start. I say just be loving people all the time. All right. Spirit with that four of swords. Aries, I see somebody not answering the phone. Oh. The Three of Cups. 
Aries, I see you not wanting to party with the masses, but I do see plenty of opportunity here for you to have fun. So if you do answer that phone, you might feel as if you had to go out and hang with the same crowd that you're trying to change. Yes. This is you turning around and not looking back. Whoever these people are that you used to party with, they are not your friends no more. They do not serve you no more. You turn around, spirit saying, turn around. Don't even think about them. And there's the keys to the castle. Okay. The Ten of Swords here. Angel Michael. What do we have with the Ten of Swords here? We have the Page of Wands. Some of you possibly were ghosted by someone. That Page of Wands was in reverse. I'm going to tell you, ignorance is bliss. Sometimes if you wait around waiting for an apology, you'll be waiting there forever. Some people are here to teach you lessons in life. Here we are. I feel as if someone is coming in your life from your past. But be very, very careful because they're not here to stay. This is a person that's coming to tell you that they're very passionate about you. But... Even though you have been waiting for this such a long time, I feel as if you're going to kind of let this person down because Aries, you're going to be like, why now? Why now? And I, I definitely feel as if you are, you are going to Walk away from anything less than what does serve you. The moon card in the present moment here with the moon card. You don't know when this is coming. Let's go ahead and clarify the moon, please, for Aries. With the moon here and the three of pentacles, this is an opportunity where someone is going to tell you that they have been watching you. <laughs> They've watched you for quite a while now. <laughs> but yes. I feel like there's definitely a partnership we're going to have to make a decision based on someone from your past. Someone that really can let you go. The Ace of Swords is here. So there is some kind of truth here. There is what I want to call a spiritual reconciliation here. This is when the universe takes two karmics and puts them together. Pure spirit here. Okay, crown energy. This is when mercy, Jupiter, and that great wisdom of everything divine gives you this opportunity to put... Things back on track by allowing you again 
with a specific energy to reconcile and you necessarily do not have to choose to to go with this person or not with the two of cups but there is a decision that will have to be made let's go ahead and clarify this two of cups here Angel Michael, the two of cups for Aries. Okay, we have the five of swords and again the devil. This is a karmic partnership. This is something that needs to be put to an end. You don't need to give another thought to it. This person is not for you. I feel as if the person that walked away is going to be really, really sad because you're already in a relationship. You're already in a partnership, Aries. Now, this, this isn't for all of you. What do they want here with the Page of Swords in reverse? What would, the, what would this stubborn, impatient message be of ending? Okay, we have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with the Libra. Things could have got really heated. Very cold energy here. Okay. Two separate decks. But Aries, I see where you walked away first. And this Knight of Swords, Libra energy leaped away. There's a lot of gossip here with the Queen of Swords energy. So I see you being very victorious so some of you could be dealing with the capricorn you and this capricorn probably have um some drinking going on some addictions addictions of any kind really that where you really need to reflect on um, if you want this kind of energy in your life where they're wholeheartedly loving their addiction and if they have ghosted you once and have gone cold on you, what makes you
that you have. Remember when you were a child and energy was pure. I feel some of you Aries could be looking at the moon a lot as well. Um, but, um, you know, that, that song that says, uh, Oh, mama, oh, hell yeah, honey, put on that party dress. Buy me a drink, sing me a song, take me out because I can't stay long. Last dance with Mary Jane, one more time to kill the pain. She grew up in an Indiana town with a good-looking mama who never was around. She grew up tall and she grew up right. She grew up with them boys on an Indiana night. Last dance with Mary Jane. One more time to kill the pain. This is what that energy wants from you. So when it comes, this energy wants you forever more. You really need to find out why after they have cut you off after all this time, they need to tell you why. Why did they walk away from such a beautiful thing? You know, there had to have been some third party energies and some lies that happened to you, Aries. Somebody had to lie against you. Because they wanted to leave you stuck on a hook. This This person, this energy is sick. They're on a hook now. When you find out the truth, and you see here on the back here, these lovers in the background, and you make a decision about this partnership, be very careful who you go around talking to as well. People wanted you to fall. They wanted you to sink, not swim, not be able to be where you're at. What kind of energies did this person pick up along the way? Let's see what they have to say as far as love goes. This is a good energy, a bad energy. This is a true partnership. I'm seeing karmic all over this. Someone from your past karmic relationship. Oh, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Passion. Passion is here. Okay. 
last few readings for you Aries have been very, very sexy and romantic. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, for the person with the drugs and the going through all the stuff, letting go, making lifestyle changes, oh my God, you are so brave. I'm going to let you know here, single, happy, walking away from a partnership, there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay. So really, really give in to yourself more. The challenge is to love yourself more than any any addiction. Okay. And uh, spirit will start blessing you right away. Right? There's a lot for you. Now, as far as the passion goes, the magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Okay? So some of you already are in a partnership like I had said and it's it's quite beautiful romance is there you could have had some passionate nights lately uh, maybe you've reached to your partner and said you know we need to bring more romance into our life it's been a very long time since we've gone swimming or have been able to do for ourselves you know like maybe we need to start this new project together and because of that it really has brought you closer together and that that passion is there. So um, with the, the magnetic and seductive quality right now, I'm really feeling like those Empress beautiful vibes coming from you. We have a lot of a lot of outside nature here um, besides the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here, which Whatever message that you're going to receive, you're going to hear that others possibly at work have lied about you, lied to you, someone close to you has been gossiping about you. And I, I'm going to tell you, Spirit is going to reveal this situation. Let's go ahead and clarify that Ace of Swords. <laughs> Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. Give to yourself and uh, let it go. Let it go. Take care of yourself. Start dancing more. Say good things to yourself. Yes. Yes. Aries, this will lead to your happiness for you. Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Sun. Everything that has been in the shadows... Spirit is saying that you will find out about this situation. Walk away from the devil himself. Walk away. If Humpty Dumpty broke, you don't have to sit there and put the pieces back together. <laughs> I mean, king's horses and the king's men couldn't do it. I mean, at all. Here we got a knight of swords. You know, we want a king here. I don't see a king anywhere on this board right here you know i'm seeing a page of wands this is somebody that doesn't stick around very long and uh you know jumping all over the place a little too immature for me but with the queen of wands the page of wands and the sun start giving into yourself let that inner child go there's a creative idea right now do it Everything is going to lead to your happiness, happiness here. The good times are here. Decisions are here. Opportunities are here. What the moon had for you in darkness. Once Aries, all Aries, the whole entire collective, lets go what has been weighing them down and allows spirit to fill them with passion and happiness again and and let that inner child, you know, and let joy come into your life. What was sent here to destroy you, confuse you, leave you in the dark. 
I'm going to step into the light. Spirit has a lot of truth here that's about to be revealed for Aries. Let go of all the needles. Don't answer the phone. To these people that you used to party with, you really have to turn around. You got two more cups here in the king of the castle. There's the bridge here to the castle. Okay, spirit is really, really trying to get you to push forward here. Push forward. The five of cups here. What's holding Aries back with the four of swords and the five of cups? The Six of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, you have got to speak to a therapist. You've got to ask for help from those around you, from those closest to you. You will need help. So you need to surround yourself with like-minded people that have your best interest at heart. And you really got to let go of people that are not here to serve you. And that's all Spirit is trying to say. That Ace of Swords, whole separate deck here. You want to be a Three of Pentacles, a Six of Pentacles? Got that Three of Pentacles here. It's, try it's time to show them that you can receive help. It's a give and take. Okay, there's a truth that you need to start living here. We have two Ace of Swords on the board, the moon and the sun. Allow the passion to, to fill you back up in life. Allow Aries you to have that inner peace and that joy and that, that balance that, that you really, really need again. You really wholeheart if you've been seeing rainbows and things, go figure. I I really see you, you know, not just being tied to a relationship. I, I see you so much more than that. You're so much more. And what how uh little peep, you're so much more than perfect. You're so much more than gorgeous, you know? And I I Just don't get tied down to anything that doesn't serve you. Aries, this is what I have for you, for yourself. Give me a thumbs up. Better subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to Expression Personnel. If you like my shirt, it's an EP Telleru. All right. Check out my shop, www.expressionpersonnel.com. Dot com. You get totally hooked on some amazing things that I have in my shop. So check that out. And like I said, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Till next time. Ciao, Aries.